Welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. Man, I got one of the coolest cars out there right now. 66 Chevelle, big block under the hood. She's blue and she is beautiful. It has got that big block under the hood, making a bunch of horsepower, sounding amazing. And then the paint job on this thing is killer. All the body lines on the hood there looking sweet. We got great looking chrome, great looking aluminum, great looking stainless. I mean, she is just drop dead gorgeous. She is a beauty. We got Kragers. Look at those Kragers. Everybody wanted a set of Kragers back when they were kids. I couldn't afford them. I wanted them, but I couldn't afford them. So I had hubcaps on my car. You can see that the door is fitting nice and flush, looking good. The chrome's in good shape. It looks like the chrome is original, but it's in beautiful shape for being from 1966. Door handle's also beautiful. This body line's looking great. You pop open the door here and we got that beautiful blue interior. Door panel looks like it's brand new. The two spoke steering wheel, I love those. Those are just so cool. That skinny steering wheel. We got the upholstery's looking brand new, front and rear. Headliner's in good shape. That passenger door panel also looking sweet. The dash is all original, looking sweet also. Tell you what, 1966, this thing's only uh, four years short of being as old as me, so it's pretty damn old. And she is looking beautiful. The restoration on it is off the hook. We'll grab the keys here so we can pop open the trunk. Down that quarter panel, just as smooth and straight as can be. You can see all the aluminum and all the chrome back here also looking sweet. Okay, two keys. The first one didn't get it, but the second one does. That trunk floor, look how nice and clean everything is in here. It's all been coated, looking good. Always check the wheel wells, check under the mat, make sure they're not hiding anything. Bottom side of the deck lids all painted up looking good. They even took the time to put the jack instructions. We got a jack and a spare tire in here. It's got the red line tire. That might have been uh, similar to what came on the car back in the day. As you look down the side on the passenger side, look at the reflections. I mean, the reflections tell the story, man. That paint is straight as can be. Of course, all the door gaps are fitting nice over here also. So at Vanguard Motor Sales, we don't do consignment. That means we own this car. So you can call Tom anytime and he'll tell you all about this car and how easy it is to park this dream in your driveway. All right, it's 66 Chevelle time, baby. Now, any of you guys have watched our videos know that when I was a kid, we had a 66 Chevelle. Uh, we called all Bessie. She was a sweetheart. Dad loved that car. It had a six cylinder in it though, so this one's got a big old V8 in it, making a bunch of horsepower compared to old Bessie. Tell you what, she is blue and she is beautiful. Old Bessie was like that uh, gold color, light gold color. I was never really proud of that car, but I tell you what, it got us back and forth to work an awful lot of times. Dad's work was about 30 miles from the house, so we put about 60 miles a day on that for a lot of years. Old Bessie did us well. Now we can deliver this beautiful blue car to you anywhere in the world. You just call Tom, he'll tell you how easy that process is. She is a sweetheart. We can also help you out with financing. Now stick with us to the end of the video here because we're going to put this baby up on the lift and show you how nice the bottom side is. We're going to get the hood up, show you what's going on under there. We're going to show you everything you need to see so you can make a great decision. These blue cars are very, very hard to keep these babies in stock. We just posted a convertible and I think it's sold in two days. You can see down here on the dash, uh, the Speedo's working. Gas gauge looks like it's working. We got an aftermarket radio in here, so those guys have to have a radio. Windshield wipers are all ready, but I hope to God you don't get caught in the rain in this beauty. 
course, when you get them out and drive them every now and then, especially in the springtime, you never know. It might bring up a little old thunderstorm. Make sure you got your cotton towels in the trunk so you can clean her all up. Still get first prize at the car show. So we're headed back to the shop right now where we're going to put it up in the air. And make sure you share this video with your buddies. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget, we post at least one new video just about every day, sometimes two. So we've always got new inventory coming in. You got to keep a close eye on it. And make sure you see something you're interested in. Call Tom. He'll get right on it. So here we are at 14, or 15 100 Keel Street. I don't know where that came from. We're here in Plymouth, Michigan, so stick with us. We're going in the air with this one right now. All right, we're underneath the Chevelle now, and it is pretty under here. As you can see, the gas tank's been replaced. The frame's all nicely painted. The exhaust system is new. You can see the blue overspray from uh, painting the outside of the car over the black coating that's on the floors, which look great. I just rolled the rear end over, counted right around the 342 gear, and it is an open rear end. Looks like the bolts and the bushings have been replaced. Looks like the shocks have been replaced. Brake lines look fairly new. Now, the guys will still pull the brakes all apart, make sure they're in good working order. U-joints look like they've been replaced. These floorboards are absolutely beautiful. They're all coated with black paint, looking sweet. Uh, we got a... Um, Two-speed automatic transmission, power glide. Looks like brand new cooler lines for the transmission. We got drum brakes up front also, and again, the guys pull those apart, make sure they're in good working order. Tie rod ends look like they're fairly new. Idler arm looks like it's fairly new. Sway bars all painted up looking good. New bushings in the sway bar also. Chrome on the front bumper looks like it's brand new. Tires are definitely brand new. They still got nubblies on them. And the Kragers are brand new. The tire size up front here is 225 60 15s. And as you look down the side of the car, you can see that blue paint's looking sweet. That rocker molding's looking sweet. The bottom side of the rocker itself is in beautiful shape. You can see that pinch weld all looking good, nice and tight. Got nice paint on the bottom side. Now out back, we got a little more rubber. We got two 55, 60, 15s back here. Again, brand new tires, brand new wheels. Wheel wells painted uh, blue also, which is looking just absolutely gorgeous. Let's lower this thing down and look at the big block under the hood. Under the hood here, we got 396 power. We've got what looks like a new rebuilt unit on the uh, radiator here also. We got GM markings on the uh, hoses. Uh, we do have power brakes. We do have power steering. Uh, they've coated the exhaust manifolds to make them look like uh, bare metal, which look really good. Stock appearing distributor on there. The firewall's all nice and clean. You can see the stock air conditioning setup also. Underneath that air cleaner is a four barrel carburetor. It looks like a holly from here. We got nice chrome valve covers on there. The dipstick for the motor is um, mounted right there. You can see the orange dipstick there. Everything looking sweet on this thing. Even the bottom side of the hood's nicely coated with chassis black. We got new insulation under the hood here. I see a lot of new wiring under here also. The inner wheelhouses are painted up nice. The whole core support area has been painted up nice. I mean. This thing is absolutely gorgeous, guys. So give us a call at 248-974-9513. My Vanguard Motor Sales Park, this little dream, and your driveway.